Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Don't listen to what your loved ones tell you, you can never have enough 3D printer filament. However, as I started to build a fort from all of my boxes of unopened rolls of filament, it dawned on me. I should probably make some more storage boxes. Thankfully, it is very easy to make proper filament storage. The key is keeping your filament dry. So all you need are two things. First, you need a large, weather-tight storage box. Look for ones with foam seal around the edges and nice strong latches. That'll keep humid air from entering the box. Pick the size that works best for you. These are 44 quarts, but I also have 60 quart containers in my storage. The second important piece is a rechargeable dehumidifier. These will pull any moisture from the air and the filament and keep the inside of the container nice and dry. The rechargeable kind are convenient because they can be reused over and over again. I like these units from Evadry. I've used these square versions ever since I made my first video about filament storage way back in 2016, and they are still working perfectly. They have a heater built into them and a plug on the back, so when they need to be dried, you just plug them in to drive off the moisture in about 6 hours. They also have these newer cylindrical models, which come with a separate dryer base which forces hot air through them, drying them in under 2 hours. Any kind of rechargeable dehumidifier will work, so pick whichever fits your preference. Now that we have these two pieces, we are ready to store our filaments. Grab all of your boxes. Keep it coming. There we go. Then start to place the rolls into the weather-tight container. I like to enter my rolls into 3dprintlog.com as I add them, so I can keep track of how much filament is left on the roll. For new rolls, you can keep them sealed in the bags, or you can open them now. Either way works. The last step is to toss in the dry, rechargeable dehumidifier into the container, and then close the lid. I like to add labels with a box number onto it, so I can keep track in 3D Print Log what box each of my rolls are stored in. It makes it easy to find when I'm looking for a specific color. And there we have it, simple filament storage. So why do we go through all this trouble to keep it dry? Well, over time, the plastic filament has a tendency to absorb moisture. Then, as you print with the filament, that moisture will rapidly expand into steam, causing inconsistent extrusion, or even bubbles. In this old video of mine, this roll of ABS absorbs so much moisture from the air that you can clearly see the bubbles in the extruded filaments. I even had to dry it in an oven to remove the moisture. But ever since I started to properly store my filaments with a dehumidifier, I've never had moisture problems. It's an easy solution and helps keep me organized. So thank you all for watching how to make simple filament storage. You can find Amazon links for all of these products in the description if you want to pick them up for yourself. You can also create a free account on 3dprintlog.com and start tracking all of your filaments and prints today. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.